How's it going guys? Uh, this is just a quick video uh, to give you some tips about removing the intake manifold on a Ford F-150 years uh, 04 to 08 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, most people when you, they remove the their intake they have a problem with this vacuum hose right here. The one that I'm pointing at right now. Right there. And because Ford had made uh, the vacuum hose connected to this one so tiny, so small, that it's almost impossible to remove when the intake is here. So, um, what you can do when you put it back, you can just uh, remove that hose and put a, a, a little bit longer uh, extension. And this is metal, by the way. So, don't be... Don't be uh, scared to uh, pull on it if it's if it if there is some resistance um, basically just um, add a little bit uh, of hose and when you put it back and you can it, it should be easy it shouldn't be that that of a problem also when you remove the intake there is a bolt here there is a bolt this 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 uh, this bolt is connected to your intake manifold and this what holds this um, harness in here, this big uh, wire. So you're gonna have to remove a bolt uh, here to be able to free the intake. So don't pull on it if if you see that there is some resistance. And also, these are your two knock sensors, one on the le on the right and one on the left, and they're connected to here. This harness here and right here and sometimes in my case these two wires were fed through the through the intake manifold um, actuator arms so I had to uh, actually uh, do a lot of uh, uh, like uh, I had to um, get my arm under the intake and play with them until I got them disconnected. If these are fed through, I don't have no idea what they were fed through the arms, but they were. And the last thing you need to take under consideration is this harness right here. There's only three plugs in the back. Two knock sensors and one temperature uh, temperature sensor unit that goes here. And there's a harness connected to it from here to here. And all these three wires, for some stupid reason, they were fed through the arms and I couldn't get the intake out. So, um, so just in case you guys are working on the same project, uh, these things uh, you need to consider, you need to take under uh, consideration when you pull them out. Now, I removed the intake because I had a, P, uh, a P0174 code on my truck and um, I'm replacing the gaskets on the intake manifold and I'm um, just cleaned it a little bit better it was like really dirty also I um, I changed the um, water pump um, I had some squealing and some squeaking on uh, uh, when the truck was running so I changed the uh, tensioner uh, idler pulleys this one this one and this one and um, the squealy problem that I had was related uh, most likely with this with this one here now it's changed no more problems but here is here was the problem the real problem that I had is the alternator sometimes people disregard this and they don't even look at it when it's absolutely the problem the squealing I had besides the code of uh, for the uh, for the intake manifold is this I don't know if you can hear that there you go that was the problem the main problem of the squealing I couldn't figure it out I had to change all the pulleys on uh, only to find out that it was the alternator so I got some bearings. These alternators for Fords, they are serv well, they are serviceable if you find the bearings to change. You gotta have to remove this. You gotta have to remove this uh, pulley with the impact wrench. Remove this bolt. 
take it apart replace the bearings inside and it should be um, it should be fine um, and that's it those are the little tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you guys if you're working on the same project and I know some people are working on it so so before you get uh, crazy and, and everything make sure these three plugs are are disconnected one two three and the bolt here make sure you don't pull on the intake if the bolt if without uh, taking this bolt out and uh, this is where most people have problems I'm just gonna get closer this hose right here and it's metal it's welded to the box to the to the block or attached I believe so uh, you can pull on it a little bit don't don't pull too hard you don't want to bend it but you can still pull a little bit to remove it to put it back just change the hose that tiny little hose that they have uh, installed and, and put a longer hose and it should be it should be no problem all right that was my quick tip for today hope this helps